Dennis, and welcome back to another day of violin. And I'm here with my dog. I figured I might as well uh, show you around my house a little bit. I'm working on um, having a little room upstairs so that uh, we can have a little change of scenery maybe. But for now, I want to introduce you to my dog Harvey and his favorite toy, lamb chop. You guys know lamb chop? She was my favorite when I was a kid. Say hi, Harvey. He's gonna go away in a second. Can everybody say hi to Harvey? Harvey, say hi to all of our violinists at home. Say hi to Miss Ashley's class. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. He's gonna go away now. Harvey, go back upstairs. He's, he's really well trained, but he really likes this dog. So, I mean, he really likes lamb chop. This is our code word for today. So you can get, you can get some extra points in class. You remember lamb chop and Harvey. Harvey, come up and get it. Come up and get it. All right, now, go get it. Harvey, go. Go back. Hold on a second, guys. Harvey, you're gonna go back upstairs. <laughs> and Lamb Chop is gonna stay with us. There you go, he can be right here. You can remember Lamb Chop the flowers from last class. I hope you guys were there. Lamb Chop's just gonna sit right there. All right, I'm excited. I saw some amazing practice videos and some people got some stickers added to their practice chart. If you were one of them, great job. If you weren't one of them that saw your practice chart, make sure you post your practice videos on Homeroom so that I can add a sticker to your practice chart and in class, if you get a sticker on your practice chart, you're also going to get a ticket for every sticker that you earn. So today's class, I made up some goals for today. We always start with our, let's say it together, A major scale. And we're, our routine is Mississippi stop stop, say it with me, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes. We're gonna do, we're gonna probably swim right through that. I saw some practice videos of you sounding really great playing A major scales. We're gonna choose a twinkle variation to play together. We're gonna review lightly row. We're gonna, we're gonna learn our third line of lightly row, um, which I think is gonna come pretty easy to a lot of us. And then we're gonna play all of lightly row together. So, and I have some stickers here, Lamb Chop, can you hold on to that? Can you hold on to that? Good. I have some stickers so we can mark our progress today. I'm gonna use these stickers because I like these big red stickers. You ready to go? Also, I hope that I'll see some of you next week for our 15 minute private lesson. I'm really looking forward to working with each and every one of you one on one. Let me make sure the tape is running, or the video is running. Yep, we're good. Let's all stand up nice and tall. Let's make sure our knees are straight. We're not leaning up against our beds or our window sills or whatever you've got at home that you like to lean up against. Our violins are over our shoulders. Our bows are on the A string. And we're gonna start with Mississippi Stop Stop. And like always, listen first. Where do we start? Our 
Where do we start our bow for whole notes at our frog? Listen first. Keep listening. Three, two, ready, A. A, two, three, four, now up bow, two, three, four, down bow, two, three, four, up bow, two, three, four, down bow, two, three, four, up bow, two, three, four, down bow, two, three, now three fingers down, three again. Now two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. D, e, two, three, four. Now three fingers out for D. Good. C, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. Nice work. We made it through our whole notes. We are making quick progress. Follow along with me and you're going to do just fine. Now we're going to go with half notes. How many beats are in a half note? If you said two, then you are right. Two beats are in a half note. Half notes ready. Listen first, sorry. One, two, listen first. Quarter notes. 
I think we have three more if we're thinking about our whole beat, right? So our whole lesson. We're gonna play one trickle variation. Yesterday or the other day we, we played Mississippi Sup Sup. So let's choose a different one. Let's choose one that sounds kind of fruity. What is one that sounds kind of fruity? Strawberry blueberry is right. So we're gonna play strawberry blueberry together. We're just gonna play it all the way through. Let's listen first to our introduction. So you know our tempo. Who remembers what tempo means? That's right, it means the speed. So how fast we're gonna play. So listen first. Second, our first line, right, which goes E, C, C, D, B, B, A, B, C, D, E, E, E. I'm going to play that first line first, and then I want you to play it for me at home. So I want you to listen first, and then I'll give you your cue to play it. your cue. You're going to play it for me. One, two, your turn. Play. E, C, C, D, B, B, A, B, C, D, E, E, E. How did that feel? Should we try it a couple more times? Let's do it two more times. My turn. Listen first. Ready, play. 
A, B, C, D, E, D, D. Nice. Okay, so we learned the first line together, and we also learned the second line. How does the second line go? How is it different from the first line? So in the second line, we have an extra C and an extra B, right? So we sing, we play E, C, 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 D, B, 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 A, C, E, E, C, C, C. Yes. So we're going to play that line together. And I want you to think of this. When we think of the first and the second line, oftentimes we get a little confused. And, and our first line, we accidentally play D, E, C, C, C. We accidentally play the first four notes of the second line instead because it's so similar. But I don't want you to think of this. So when we sing our song, and we use the lyrics to lightly row, we sing, Hello, mouse, in your house. I am walking up your stairs. I want you to remember that in the beginning of the song, the mouse doesn't know us. So we haven't used the little nickname, Mousy, for the, for the mouse yet. In the first line, we're just like, hey, little mouse. And then in the second line, we get to know the mouse a little better. And we're like, hi, mousey. Just like when you have a friend. And maybe um, you call your friend, who has a nickname in our class? Hmm. I don't think any of us really have nicknames. But my name is Ashley. And sometimes people call me Ash. But they wouldn't call me Ash if they just met me on the very first day. They would call me Ash after knowing me for a little bit of time. So I want you to remember that in the beginning, it's just mouse, hey mouse. Second line is, hi mousey, you're my friend now. Um, so in our first line, we just have two C's, hello mouse. In our second line, we have hello mousey. Um, let's play the second line together just like we did the first line. So I want you to listen first and you're gonna repeat. My turn first. Especially with our hopping around of A, C, E, E, C, 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 C. That can feel tricky. So listen first. Okay, 
it's time for us to learn. Oh, let's first give ourselves let's first give ourselves a sticker for reviewing Lightly Row. Now we're gonna learn the third line of Lightly Row, which I really feel like is gonna be the easiest part for all of us. row, we have, we have this, we have five B's in a row. We play B, 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 C, D, and then we have five C's in a row. We have C, 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 D, E. It's pretty easy. I think the hardest part is making sure that we're playing the right amount of B's and the right amount of C's. So you can really hear in your head, if you want, and not count, you can hear, this is the same, now it's higher, this is the same note, and higher, this is the same note, now higher. You kind of hear that? We are standing here for B, right? Or you can count, one, two, three, four, five, C, D, if you want to as well. Um, so we've got five Bs, and these are all, what kind of notes? They're quarter notes. This is a quarter note too, and this is a half note. Same here, quarter notes all the way until our half note. So let's just do this part right here where we have B, 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 C, D. I'm gonna play it first, and then you repeat after me. Your turn, ready, play. B, 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 C, D. Good. Listen again. of the C's. Put your bow on the A string, put one finger down for B. One, two, ready, play. Very nice. Let's try it two more times together. 
together so we can really get the third line down. What do you think? Is this easier or harder? I think it's a little bit easier. I'm not sure if you said harder at home, but if you said it's a little bit harder, I think it's only be because it's confusing sometimes how many B's and how many C's to play. But the goal is to get it in your head and to think, um, won't you let me eat your cheese? And to think of all of the notes that sound the same and then the ones that sound different. Get it in your head and it just comes out with your violin. Won't you let me eat your cheese on your sofa pretty please? Let's try it two more times together. So put one finger down on the A string for B ready play. too far over 30 minutes. Oh, this is very good. 30 minutes is a good amount of time to play together. So there we are. We just have one last goal to complete, playing it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and I'm going to swirl my board around. And here's our whole song. I cannot believe we've already learned all of Lightly Road together. By next time, we're already going to be starting a new song. I cannot believe we're starting a new song virtually and I'm not there with you to, to start it. That is crazy. Okay, so we have two orange lines, right? Because like I said, the second and the fourth line are the same exact thing. The first and the third line, they're different. And remember, the first line where we have just two C's, we don't know our mouse that well yet. We're not, we're not going by our nicknames of Mousy. But by the second line, our Mousy's our good friend. And we're like, hello, Mousy. The fourth line, we're still really good friends with our Mousy. We're like, hello, Mousy, right? So we're going to play this all together three times in a row. Are you ready for that? The first time, we're going to stop in between each line and make sure we know where we're off, we are. The second time, I'm going to sing all the notes. And the third time, we're just going to play it all the way through. And again, this is going to be tricky. It's going to take some practice on your own to get good at it, too. All right, let's start with our first three notes. Go on the E string. Remember, it's just hello, mouse, two Cs. And the third, the second C is a half note, so we gotta hold it out, right? Ready? Follow on the E string. Start with the first note. E, ready, down ball play. E, C, C, D, B. Let's go on to our second line where we know our mouse 
Mousy a little better. And we call our Mousy, hello Mousy. One, two, ready, E. <laughs> on our screen. Hopefully you can see it. Maybe I'll even zoom a little bit up for you guys. You won't be able to see me as well, but you'll be able to see the notes. So let's just play these notes together. Ready? Bow on the E string. I'm out of the picture now, but don't worry, I'll come back. One, Two, first line play. At this point, if you want to pause the video, you can play it a third time by yourself and you can just follow along with the notes on your own and play at your own pace. All right, boys and girls, that was our class for today. We met all of our goals. I'd love to hear you playing Lightning Roll on your own at home, either the whole thing or just one line or just one part of it, and make sure to post it onto Homeroom. And parents, don't forget, or if you haven't seen, check your email. We sent out a form so that you can schedule a private lesson with me starting next week. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Let's stand up and bow to each other. First, congratulations on meeting all of your goals. Let's stand up and bow. Thank you for helping me teach you. Have a good rest of your week, everybody.